thing. There we go. There we go. <laughs> now we're starting to put everything together. Isn't that just like having Tata -ta mess with our luck? So apparently we've already been cursed by Tata, -ta, but that helps to get out the streaming jitters, right? So let me go ahead and just make sure everything is set up with my mods and we're back on track. I am so excited to see you guys. Oh, thank goodness. All right, I'm just making sure we're all set up. There we go. Yay! Also praise my awesome mods and my patrons in our Patreon Discord uh, live stream chat because they recommended restarting the entire computer and that is actually what fixed it. I think it's really, really funny because we worked so hard all morning to make sure it all worked. And now we can get ready to go. So sorry about that. There we go. So sorry that it took so long. Good news, everyone. We're good. Okay, I'm triple checking everything. Thankfully, making mistakes like this a few times over really helps to make sure that in the future, everything will go a lot smoother. And like I said, in the future, I will let you guys know before we stream a lot longer ahead of time. This was definitely a whole new experiment. I hope you guys are excited to see how we've got our whole stream layout because there's some really special details added in. And then yay, all right, good, good. I'm so happy to see you guys there. Let me dive back in to a very special biome. We have a special save file already prepared for you guys. Don't worry, I only played it long enough to name our two starter nichelings. But we are gonna be playing niche today in case you couldn't couldn't figure that out and I'm really excited to share it with you guys because this Thursday the full release of Niche actually came out and I don't think I have ever followed a game that intensely in its development and I don't think I have ever played that many hours of a game ever actually <laughs> all at once um, and so I'm really happy guys this Thursday Niche came out how many of you guys have started playing Niche yes they have already named the starters for a very specific special reason but how many of you guys have already played Niche uh, how many of you are here from our Niche stuff because this is gonna be really cool I think we're going to do a special challenge and let me just make sure everything's here yay hi guys we're gonna be starting pretty much in just a couple minutes here. I'm making some last minute glances just to make sure that we're not gonna have another incident with Tata. -ta. For those of you guys who don't know about Tata, -ta, he was a trickster god in one of our previous niche let's plays. Whenever anything goes wrong in niche, we now blame it on Tata. -ta. So the fact that everything was working perfectly, we had you guys all prepared. So many of you already had your popcorn and your tea and your drinks and your cats and dogs, and then it stopped working. I'm gonna pin that on Tata. -ta. That's that's his fault this time. But all right, gonna make sure. Apparently there's a lot of Hamilton references going on. So I'm wondering if you guys are going to start like getting a chance to chat to each other if you like Hamilton, cause there's a lot of that going on. And then good, my mods are on top of it. Please be super respectful to each other and to the mods guys. That's what makes this such a fun experience. And the more fun and relaxing, whoops. <laughs> And the more of a community feel this is, the more we'll be able to stream. So that's going to be really fun. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. And if Tata comes in to ruin the stream again, then at least we can laugh about it. So don't you guys worry about this. And oh, good call. I think somebody, uh, Dog Girl 5 actually pinned down that Tata was from the Pomera tribe, which I think he was. I'm pretty sure he was from the Pomera tribe. That was a, quite a while ago. All right. Oh, there we go. Just glancing over everything one last time. Yay, all right. So guys, welcome to our stream. We are with the Legend Seekers tribe. If you guys look over to the right, you can actually see that we have the name of the tribe and you can see we are on day one. And we've got some tribe leaders, some heroes of the tribe. We have got some legends that this tribe is actually seeking out. With Niche officially releasing, they've also released the achievements on Steam. And so what this tribe, the Legend Seekers, is going to 
do is we are going to seek out those achievements. All the ones not related to Ad Adam's Island. Adam's Island has its own little set of achievements. We're going to be doing that in the Let's Play later, probably following the Janapples, since so many of you guys fell in love with the Janapples. But we're going to be looking at all of the achievements not related to Adam's tribe in this tribe, the Legend Seekers, because I want you guys to be right here, live with me, while we send them out to do ridiculous things. If you haven't looked at the achievements on Niche, totally do. It's really funny. <laughs> oh, and then Zelda. So Zelda AJ has a really great question. Uh, how do you get the full release of the game? And if you already have the game on Steam, then all you have to do is go into your, your Steam library and right click on niche and then make sure that you're opted out of all betas. If you're opted out of all of them, it'll update your game to the full release version and voila, you can join us, which is really fun. And what I hope to do as time goes on with this particular tribe is actually when we finish streams, release the save of this tribe to you guys so that you guys can play with it and then maybe you can send some screenshots of what happened to the animals in our in our tribe in your hands and with your story and you can send in some fun screenshots and we can kind of go through and cycle through the screenshots on the next stream so that's something i plan on doing with them so when this video finishes going back up on youtube be sure to check the video description in the future once it's done processing and the live stream is up there and you can download the save file. I'll link you to the video to explain how to swap out save files. You can play with this this family right here and send some fun screenshots of what happened to them. And then we'll have those play at the beginning of our next live stream with Niche, which I think would be really cool just to see the same two founder Nichelings sent out into the world in your guys' hands and how far can they go. All right, let's see. I plan on streaming. Someone asked how long I plan on streaming. Let's see. Yeah, someone asked how long I plan on streaming. I'm thinking about two hours. We'll see how it goes, depending on how you guys feel, depending on what we end up doing. And I apologize that we had a bit of a bumpy start to the stream. So, all right, let me see. Let me see. <laughs> and somebody already, oh, who was that? Let me see if I can find them again. Chat is moving along so quickly. Oh, Zucchini is a cute name for a nicheling. We'll have to save that for the future. But somebody says that they're playing along to see what happens in their niche tribe while we see what goes on in our niche tribe. So I'm really, <laughs> I'm really looking forward to this. But all right, so. You guys, if you look over, uh, like I mentioned, this is the Legend Seekers or the Legend Hunters tribe, and we're going to be seeking out legends. This tribe really cares about glory. They care about seeking out the legends and finding out what is out there in the world and how they can make their name, their legendary names, uh, on, on history. And they're going to do that by, like I said, unlocking the achievements. There are a lot of different kinds of achievements in Steam. There's achievements for becoming a platypus-like creature and naming your platypus creature Perry. There's achievements for having a baby eaten by a bird called Adam's Curse. <laughs> I kind of wish there was like a custom achievement called Tata's Cursed and we had something for that. There are achievements for surviving a certain number of days. And that is why if you look over on our tribe legend to the right, under Legend Seekers, you see it says day one. We will be changing that every time a day passes. And I need you guys to help me out with that. So don't let me miss out on keeping track of how many days have gone by. Because we want to know when 250 days go by because that is going to to unlock a special niche achievement. Let me pull up the name, actually, because I'm so excited. These achievements are not going to be the easiest things to get, and that's why I'm really excited to try to keep the tribe alive with you guys. All right, so there is the achievement still alive for surviving 250 days, and the achievement never going to give you up for surviving a thousand days. How many of you do you... <laughs> How many of you guys actually think we could survive a thousand days in niche? Um, I have a feeling we'll either survive two days or maybe 20 on a burning savannah island, or we'll be able to make it to 1000 no problem. But there's also achievements for finding all five of the prehistoric genes. And if you happen to go to the Steam page for niche, if you look at the bottom, there's an achievement called Seers of the Sea for Siri our achievement that we made as a 
community. And that achievement is our very own for Siri in honor of Siri the pixel biologist breed an animal with white fur that's not albino that has red antlers at least one berry paw and hind legs and a fishing tail and that is for the Dolly tribe which Callum actually made one of our Dolly creatures if you guys remember this from our unboxing I love her. I actually pet her for good luck whenever we start playing on Niche. And I am wearing my DNA Helix earrings, just in case you guys needed to know, so that we are hopefully lucked up against any more interference from Tata for Niche. But we have an achievement named after us as well. So the point of this tribe will be to go through and to try to unlock as many of those as possible. I already have the Survivor achievement for surviving 50 days, the Twins achievement, and we also have the sweet, sweet love achievement. Yeah, the Dolly tribe. There we go. All right, so yeah, and then yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Who said nice earrings? Because I do really like these earrings a lot. Thank you, Gamer152510. This, the, I love these earrings, the DNA Helix earrings. All right, so uh, there we go. Um, and let me see. I, I know we're going through a lot. I just want to explain the setup of our tribe before we get going because you guys know how fast that can start. And the other thing that I need you guys to do is you guys are going to help me pick the leaders of the tribe. For starters, the Patreon community and I already picked the leader and that's going to be Dawn here. So are you guys ready to meet our leader and current hero of the Legend Seekers tribe, Dawn the Sun Speaker. So let me pop over to her. Hello, little Dawn. Oh, she's so cute. And then let me go into her family tree so you can see all of her stats really easily. But this is Dawn and she cracks me up. She has the fishing tail. She's also got, whoa, hang on a second. <laughs> Hold up here, I have a sponsor. <laughs> Lena, thank you for becoming one of our sponsors. Definitely please message me on my uh, email. If you guys don't know, you can sponsor people on YouTube and that's very exciting because I've never had that happen to me before. So Lena is literally our very first sponsor ever. But uh, now I have to kind of change gears and tangent off again here. I'm blushing so much. Thank you, Lena, oh my goodness. So what happens when you sponsor somebody for live streaming is it helps support them to live stream more in the future. I'm really excited about that. The, oh, thank you. Oh, oh my gosh. And our live stream group just super chatted us. Oh my goodness, our Discord group is the best, I swear. Oh, they're the best. And you guys are the best. I'm blushing. It got so distracted. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but what happens when you sponsor somebody on YouTube is it supports them so that it can help them to focus more on live streaming. And I do want to start live streaming more. So to say thank you for the people who are our patrons and who are our sponsors, if you look down to the right of the chat right over here, do you guys see? leopard step that is actually a niche link submitted by one of our patrons Callum, who also made the beautiful Dolly statue by the way so she's a really fantastic artist she has her own uh youtube channel where she makes really cool atomic stuffed cats uh like cute little plushy stuffed cats that is based off of the uh like chemistry table the periodic table oh my goodness thank you hayden <laughs> We have some super chatters. You guys are just making me blush. Um, my goodness, yes. And I do remember chocolate chip. I apologize if I'm not paying attention to chat really quickly. I just want to explain the setup before we get going. But if you look over here, you can see Leopard Step. She's to the right of the chat on the video. And that is from Callum, who submitted that nicheling. If you are a patron and if you are a sponsor, you can send me screenshots of your favorite nichelings and their names. And then I will cut them out and they will scroll by during the course of our live streams. Right now, how many of you guys recognize this guy? Sometimes you will see some of the nichelings from our previous adventures. How many of you recognize who this is? I would love to see. Ah, I see it, I see it. Music note says Lala. I see it, I see it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let's see, how many of you guys, where's Lala from you guys? 
What does what kind of weather does Lala slash Yuki love the most? I would love to know. Yeah, yeah, I'm so excited to see how many of you guys remember him. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's Lala. So that's what's going to happen. Um, if you become a sponsor or if you are one of our patrons, you can submit your nichelings and they will go by very slowly. I have it on a slow timer so it won't distract you guys too much or me, to be completely honest. It, it distract me, not you guys. It, I'm very distractible. <laughs> but we have the uh, we have little little Lala right here. And oh, there's such cute messages happening in our Discord stream to you. Good, good, good. All right, good. And wow, thank you again, Talina. I'm just like blushing so hard. All right, but that's the case if you're a sponsor or if you're a patron, you submit your nicheling. So if you see these nichelings to the right of the chat on the video, that's where they're from. And then all my other social media information is going on to the bottom right. So there's all of that. And now we can back up and go back to Dawn or poor Dawn. She's just sitting here so patiently waiting for me to pay attention to her again. But Dawn is our founding female, formerly known as Adam and Eve. When we first started playing Niche, now they start with new names. The Patreon Discord helped me to name these two. So we have Dawn, and she is actually known as our current hero. She's Dawn the Sun Speaker. Since we only have two Nichelings, we only get to pick from amongst them for our current heroes. But over the course of the game, as we are playing, I need you guys to decide if a nicheling has done something awesome enough to be known as a hero and then give them a hero's name. So it's not just Dawn, it's Dawn the Sun Speaker because she actually tells stories, legends and lore of the tribe, of what the tribe used to accomplish, legends and rumors of what the tribe could accomplish, AKA the achievements at the dawn of each day. With the rising of the sun, she is the sun speaker because she gathers the whole tribe, who at this point is just the completely enamored with her and utterly in love mate, Dusk. And she tells stories of legends and glory of the tribe of the past and where the tribe could go in the future. So she's our current hero. But as we progress through this tribe, if a nicheling does something that really just is very heroic in one way, they reach an achievement, they save a child, they do something really dramatic that you think would be full of glory and heroism and stand out for this tribe, then I need you guys to talk together and pick a name for that nicheling. So it wouldn't just be like, it wouldn't just be, say, um, Nutmeg, it would be Nutmeg the Beautiful because she's the most beautiful nicheling who all of the, all of the nichelings on the island want. It wouldn't just be uh, like... Roger, it would be Roger the cactus attacker or Roger the cactus knight who fights against cactuses and sacrificed himself taking damage from a cactus to feed his tribe. So that's what the heroes of our tribe will be and you guys will help to name those heroes as time goes on. So I believe that explains... <laughs> I believe that explains pretty much everybody, um, and our mods are frantically trying to make sure that you guys are taken care of. So we won't be picking any names just yet because we'll be working with the babies in just a second. But I think that should explain, so now you guys know you're responsible for helping me remember that we need to transition to the next day and keep the day counter on the right number, because eventually we need that counter to be at 1,000 days to get that achievement for this tribe. And then you're going to help me pick the tribe leaders when the, the current leader dies, and you're going to point out the heroes for me. And finally, the legend currently sought. With so many achievements to be able to reach, we have to pick something to start aiming towards. So the achievement that we're currently on is Ruler of the Savannah. And and that's why we are on a Savannah Island. Do you guys, how many of you guys happen to remember uh, what happened last time we were on a Savannah Island? Uh, I would really love to see. I'm going to I'm gonna open up my drink over here, actually, and take a little drink because we're about to get like really, really started. But how many of you guys remember what happened last time we, we came to a Savannah Island? Hmm. Please don't get too attached to dawn and dusk, just in case. Just in case, fire and death. Yes, fire and death. 
<laughs> there were a beaver, fire and death, and it was chaos. And I don't know if Dawn and Dusk are going to make it. So if Dawn and Dusk don't make it, and we need to restart the legend tribe, then we have to set the day calendar back down because we'll have to restart our whole tribe. But we can pick up with their cousins, their distant cousins, the legends mock too. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, it was fire and death. All right. Um, so that being said, I think that covers absolutely everything. So we have made these two, Dawn and Dusk have been so patient. We have made them sit here and do nothing for too long. So let's go ahead and take a look at them. I actually have not looked at their genetics yet, so I have no idea what they do. But the current legend we're working on, uh, like I mentioned, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, Mallory, thank you. Dang it, okay. Oh, I'm blushing so hard. Mallory, thank you for becoming one of our sponsors. <laughs> okay, I have to stop just for a second. Everybody, please clap for Mallory because by being our second sponsor, that means that when I have some time later tonight, I can actually make a custom emoji for our future live streams. Having two sponsors is the requirement to have the first custom emoji. So we're gonna have a surprise emoji that's going to be pixel biology related next time we uh, have another live stream. I'm so excited that's gonna be really really fun i'm like oh i'm blushing so hard right now <laughs> i have to get used to nice things happening to me while i have face cam on oh i can feel my ears feel like they're on fire maybe that's a good sign for this kind of tribe so thank you very much mallory thank you to both of our our amazing people because now we have our first custom emoji and i'm really oh my gosh oh my gosh okay okay I have to become, I have to, oh my gosh, thank you so much, Elliot the Hedgehog, for for another sponsor because that puts us even closer to more custom emojis. And I need to get used to people doing nice things while I have face cam on. Don't cry, Siri. Don't cry. Feed your niche links. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you guys. Okay, I'm I, I'm pretty sure you can see the blush from where you're at. I don't wear a blush. This is all just this is all just warm, happy feelings <laughs> showing off in my cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. I'm never. Oh my gosh. Oh no, Siri, Katie. <laughs> That's Katie. Okay, we gotta feed our children. That's right, Katie. <laughs> you guys. Okay, that, that's another sponsor. We're gonna have some custom emojis next time. I'm gonna work with some of our amazing artists. Thank you, Rim. By the way, I'm glad you and your sister love our videos. Oh my goodness. Okay. Whew. I'm never gonna feed these nichelings, so thank you guys so much. I'm going to focus. We will definitely have some custom emojis next time. Oh, Dizzy. 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 <laughs> Don, eat something before you perished. <laughs> Thank you, Dizzy. Okay, I'm gonna try to keep moving on and not freak out any further else. We're never gonna play niche, but Thank you, Dizzy. We're gonna have some custom emojis. I'm hoping that one of them eventually will be a little crabbit because I think that'd be so cute to have a little purple crabbit that you guys could like spam the chat with whenever we run into crabbits. So if you have ideas for custom emojis, feel free to discuss them. My mods will try to grab some of the really fun ones if you want mods. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead <laughs> and keep moving or else we're never going to get anything done. You guys are so sweet. Oh, our community is just the best. Okay, cooling off. I'm going to go through. <laughs> I'm going to go through Dawn's actual uh, setup now and we're going to see what kind of gene she has because I haven't even looked yet. She has blind eye recessive, unfortunately, uh, and keeping in mind the story and the legend that she has been talking about at the rising of each dawn right now is actually focused on the ruler of the savannah achievement which means plus five <gasps> wolf designs <laughs> another sponsor <laughs> you guys know the drill message me on my email or message me on twitter with your niche links so that i can show off your niche links if you are one of our sponsors or patrons in the future videos too uh but anyway oh my gosh thank you wolf okay dawn dawn is um 
telling the story of the ruler of the savannah plus five to heat resistance which would be really nice right now because i'm blushing really hard and now i feel a little toasty myself but maybe i need bigger ears because big ears is one of the ways that you can have heat resistance in niche as well as a lean body which would probably require a bit more effort on my part but i would like that too Oh my goodness, and a Tata emoji! Yes, Selena, I think a Tata emoji would be amazing. That is a fantastic, and a chocolate chip emoji. Okay, we'll talk about emojis. You guys talk about emojis. I'm going to talk about Dawn. Okay, so we're going to work on trying to get lean body. We're going to work on trying to get other genes that will really help us out when it comes to uh, the ruler of the savannah achievement. That's just our first goal. So let's go ahead and we're going to look over the genes. We'll start just by trying to have some healthy babies and feeding them. So we've got swimming tail. So there's a little bit of swimming, but if you guys notice, I never noticed before, the savannah literally doesn't have a beach. It's just literally, oh my gosh, Colleen, thank you. <gasps> Colleen, <laughs> thank you for the super chat. If you too would like to show off a niche link in the future, please just contact me through, through my business email or Twitter and send me some screenshots. So thank you to those who are super chatting. Uh, oh my gosh, there's no beach. I can't dive into the water with dawn and dusk and get them cooled off and be able to uh, be able to swim. So I don't think actually, I really don't think having any nichelings that can focus on the swimming traits or the fishing traits are going to ha like help us at all with feeding them on the savanna because there's no beach. So we're going to focus on what's interior, like what's on the interior of this big grassland, like death and barina and fire and more death. <laughs> So I think we need to be able to move really quickly and I think we need to be able to um, Definitely, let's see. Let me double check something really quickly. Oh, that's so nice <laughs> Okay, uh, you guys have already flustered me to pieces. This is my first like proper Stream so you're seeing baby streaming Siri if you come back a year from now when I'm used to streaming and we have all of the ta, -ta and little clicky clacky crab emojis I'll be more put together. So thank you for your patience. I'm just a little baby streaming Siri I'm still learning how to calm down and face the niceness of our amazing community without like turning into puddles of mush This is why I don't stream snail mail <laughs> Okay but anyway, we're going to focus on what's on the interior of the grassland. Uh, colors, things like that don't really matter. Hind legs, we definitely do not want to have webbed hind legs on this island. But Dusk, who is madly in love with his storytelling Dawn, and Dawn do not have the hind legs, so we don't need to worry. I think making sure that they can fight is definitely something important. They have runner's leg and velvet paw. Runner's leg and runner's leg. Um, so I think trying to have Dusk, maybe he's thinking he wants to try to defend his beloved Dawn. So let's go ahead. I was gonna say, let's go ahead and put Claw into the mutation menu. Welcome guys, the nichelings are new too. They haven't attacked anything yet. So there's literally no way for us to put Claw into the mutation menu. In fact, the only thing that's good right now that we could put in the mutation menu are normal eyesight. Um, because he has short-sighted eyes and she has blind eyes. So we definitely want to take good care of them. So let's go ahead and add in right down here. Oh my gosh, thank you, Crystal. <laughs> thank you <laughs> for your patience. Oh my gosh, that's so sweet of you, Crystal. Okay, deep breaths. We're gonna give Dusk some normal sighted eyes to help out with. And Kim, I will be doing snail mail tomorrow, actually, if I can put myself together uh, for this. And then I don't think there's anything else. Let's look over the genes we can currently assign. Normal hind legs, fluffy tail, which is cold resistance. Um, we may really be in for it, if I'm completely honest, guys. We may really, really be in for it on this island. I don't know if we're going to survive. Maybe the time that we have taken to chat and talk and kind of get to know each other is uh, kind of the time that Dusk and Dawn will have alive the longest, which is a little sad to think about. Lean body, spend time in a hot climate. I think this should be a hot climate. So maybe as the days go by here, we will be able to unlock lean body. I think the best thing we can do right now is just give them both normal eyesight to pass on to any children that they have. There we go. And then we're gonna have, they can't even attack, they can't attack a dry bush because their attack isn't high enough. And let's sniff around the place. Look guys, 
there's a cactus, which would be a painful way to go, but then we'd be able to hopefully, uh, hopefully feed them. But let's have, let's have Dusk jump. Well, okay, let's go ahead and have Dawn. She's expecting their first child, and I'm gonna have her. I'm gonna have her jump over here. I'm gonna have her kind of stay at the edge here, where it might be a little bit. Well, all right, she's gonna jump up here. The cactus might be able to protect her on one side. I'm gonna have Dusk. I should have had him move further. So apologies if I like don't do the best moves right now. We're just kind of focusing on things. I'm gonna have him clear some things up. Oh, thank you, Sinful. So Sinful Cliche says you're the best. Well, you guys are the best. You're the ones who like are so nice and amazing. And our first day is about to pass, you guys. So I hope we made the right choices. Ram horns, so uh, purple puppy rainbows, rainbow puppies, excuse me, puppy rainbows. <laughs> That's kind of interesting too. Rainbow puppy says, what about ram horns? And ram horns, we actually cannot get ram horns until we perform an attack 50 times. And then uh, also Stasha says, when they're on their last day of life, you should probably sacrifice them to the cacti and that might have to happen. So yeah, that might have to happen this time because we'll need to feed them. Uh, let's see. And I think my patrons, my discord people are, are hmm, okay, I'm gonna have to keep up with that. Anyway, first day is about to pass guys. We have, oh my gosh. <laughs> Hello, King Lee Hyena. Welcome. Welcome to to our, our stream. Oh my goodness, you guys are gonna end up making this like a weekly thing. Oh my gosh, for sure. I was kind of thinking that anyway, but oh, and Wolf, thank you. Okay. Hi, sponsors. Thank you guys so much. Okay. Deep breath, Siri. Keep moving. Our first day is now passing. You guys ready for this? I thought for just a second, I thought Dawn disappeared and I just about freaked out. So our first day has passed. You guys remember what is supposed to happen now? Do you? Because let's see. Let's see. Let's make this happen. What day is it now, guys? <laughs> day two, Featherlight. It's Rose. Good job. Light Musy. Day two, Audrey. Good job. New day. So now you guys can see it should say, does it say day two for you now? I want to make sure. We've got it all working out right. Yeah, day two. All right. So now it's day two after half an hour. <laughs> that, that sounds like me. But all right. So I'm going to leave our lovely Dawn right here. It is now hot. Let's see if that's affecting the lean body. Look at that, guys. So 49 more days on this island and we will have lean body. That probably is going to outlive Dawn and Dusk. So we probably need to start thinking about names for their kids. Oh, my gosh. Oh, <laughs> Zella, thank you. I will get my birdies a treat. You guys will probably see them jumping around back there. Uh, I hope that they're, yeah, they're, well, I, I almost said I hope they're still there. That's, that's a little more serious, don't you think? I hope my birds are still there. Yes, they're still there. Oh my gosh, Siri. Oh my goodness, and thank you, Elegant the Hedgehog. I'm glad you guys are inspired by my rambling and my my like, oh my goodness, I'm I'm blushing so hard. I need I need that lean body and big ears and whatever else. Do any other of the abilities give our nichelings the heat resistance? We'll have to see. But one day has passed in the hot weather. And we're gonna have Dawn. Uh how much food do we have? 20? You know what? I think that's close enough. And now we have 21, 22, 23. Whoops, I didn't have her make a little, uh, I didn't have her make a little nest, but I think that'll be okay. I'm gonna have Dusk. Oh wait, what was that? <gasps> guys, guys, it's a root. It's a root. We probably wanna have Digging Paw on this island, don't you think? Because that's probably a good source of food. We probably wanna be able to fight and have Digging Paw pretty soon. Uh, and let's go ahead and jump up. We'll have Dusk start working his way over there. He's going to try to get that root. And now, uh, now that we have slowed down, like getting distracted, uh, let's go ahead, double check, make sure everything's going there. The root is located. You are right. All right. Purple Candy Corn agrees. Audrey and Purple Candy Corn point out that, ooh, sun. Ooh, I like, I like sunray as a name that is nice oh that's so cool that's a really one who said that beauty is cool 307 sunray is a really nice name so we need to figure out that name but something just happened guys it's a new day <laughs> so now we need to come on down now that we're finally starting to get a move on things and zucchini is a really cool name uh gnome child 
we'll look into zucchini in the future. It is now day three. Uh, I don't know about picking from the cactus. Yay or nay on picking from the cactus, guys, because the thing is we don't have spare nichelings. I don't think we should pick from the cactus just yet. I'm gonna go ahead and have Dawn make a little nest. She's really tired because it's hot. So she unfortunately has has his, has his re reduced energy. Oh my goodness. There we go. Yeah, you guys have some really great names. We're gonna have the baby next turn. Let's try digging. And yeah, I agree, no cactus yet. I think it's too early for the cactus because that would definitely kill Dusk and then Dawn would die like, and then there'd be no niche links. That defeats the point. They're supposed to live to a thousand days. All right, Dust tried to dig for the root. He didn't have any luck. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to move on and we're going to go ahead and see what the baby is and hopefully we'll be able to find enough food. <gasps> you guys, look at the little stripes. Oh my gosh, the little stripes are so precious, you guys. Okay, before we get distracted, the day change. We can't get distracted from remembering it is now day four. So if I keep moving after a day passes, keep telling me it's the right day and I will change the date before we get a move on. But let's go ahead. It is a little baby girl. She is absolutely lovely. I really like her. Let's look at her in the mutation menu. Look at that, look at those little stripes, little little one. I think I am going to name her Sunray. I do think that Sunray is just the perfect name for being a child of dawn and dusk. And she's just so precious and it goes with the theme. So hang in there, we'll have hundreds of niche links before this challenge is over. So there'll be plenty of time for you guys to submit more names. But Sunray was definitely right on the theme. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and name this little one Sunray. And she's got B and D immunity, good, no normal blood clotting. Uh, let's see, normal hind legs, medium body. She has a short snout, which is good for smelling things. And then, oh yeah, somebody said name a child noon. Yeah, you guys, you guys, sunrise. There's lots of cool names. We'll have lots and lots of nichelings. Uh, let's see. And she's got two collecting. So does her mom and one attack. So yeah, really nothing much different than her parents, but she's not going to until we unlock some of the abilities. So speaking of which, how many more digs would we need to do to unlock digging paw? Let's find out. Cracker jaw, spiky body, nimble fingers. So we would need a lot more digs. So we're gonna have dusk, maybe sniff around. There's a couple roots. What to do, what to do. Hmm, I'm gonna go ahead and have Dusk. Well, I'm gonna have Dawn jump over here and become pregnant just so that she's ready to have another child. Dusk is gonna jump up here. We're gonna see. Oh, there's a there's a berry tree or a berry bush. I mean, okay. I'm gonna have him move right here actually because that's fantastic. That's very very important because now he can try to go ahead and snag some of the uh, roots and he can try to snag some of the berries. So there we go, guys. We now have little Sunray in her nest. Oh, thank you, Wolf. Wolf Eclipse 1530. Oh, role model. That's such a that's such a pretty interesting thing. Also, thank you so much, Shrieking Paradactyl. I do know that I can change, like I can press the buttons and that does help. Uh, I tend to just like go down here because it's kind of fun to watch the little icon change. I kind of like that a lot. But anyway, thank you very much, Shrieking Paradactyl, or Tyrodactyl, excuse me. I'm not supposed to pronounce the P in that. That's why I don't do dinosaur stuff very often. I get in trouble with the names. Uh, and then we're gonna make a new day see what happens. We definitely need, how many days have we survived here? All right, new niche day. You guys are on top of it with me. Day five, thank you guys. All right, day five. So much love going on. I love the little Kravitz, Laura, Mariana, that's so fun. We'll have real Kravitz. Now that we have the amazing sponsors have helped us with custom emojis, we'll have some real Kravitz come by with the little purple claws. <laughs> That'll be really cute. That'll be so cute. I'll have to get like little clay Kravitz to put with my Dolly because she has a little uh, beach scape and everything. That would be really fun. Also, names are being snagged by my mod, so don't despair if I'm not noticing your name. They are pulling in names into a separate chat so that I can make sure to pick some of the really good themed names that we're starting to get. Speaking of which, Sunray, as adorable as you are, I need to gently kick you off of the nest. Your mother needs to step on there, gather up some food, and now Dawn is pregnant and waiting on the nest and over here her loyal mate Dusk is going to try to do some digging again. So no such luck with the root, but we're not terrible on food just yet. The goal is to pretty much just keep them alive. So another day, you guys ready for this? Dun 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 dun! 
Oh! <laughs> oh no! Yes, but no! Yes, but no! We don't have enough food resources for this! <laughs> oh my gosh! Okay, oh my goodness. Uh, well, good news is we have a little... Wow! We have a little boy! You guys! Twins! Look at him! Oh my gosh! Too many mouths to feed already. We were kind of already on the edge. Um, I'm glancing up. We've got, let's look at his stats really quickly and then I'll double, triple check for names. But we have little, this little guy who is gloriously, beautifully spotty. Doesn't really have anything different about him at all. He's got velvet paw like his dad. Oh, he got the short sighted eyes, you guys. Fooey, oh man. All right, and then we've got his sister who has cracker jaw and normal eyes. Uh, not that I don't, I don't think Cracker Jaw is going to help us at all on this island in particular, but it's just kind of nice to know that it's hanging out in the back there. Uh, and she's got just one heat resistance. Yeah, it's going to be a little while before we can get proper heat resistance on these guys. Mostly it's just going to be trying to survive. Um, so we need a cool name for our little boy who's pretty much exactly the same as his legend family. Oh, look at that! Thank you, Padfly. I'm so glad you're enjoying the first stream. This is really amazing. You guys have been so nice. I think that we're definitely going to be going for a lot longer today, and I'm really actually kind of looking forward to doing this weekly at this point. But no quotes. No, no, no quoting me on that just yet. But you guys are you guys are being amazing. All right, let's see. We've got so for little Sila here, what would be a good name for her? Let's see. I kind of like Mesa. I saw someone say that. Mesa like the Mesa biome, like hi Stacy, you know what I mean, right? Oh, by the way, if you guys didn't see Stacy's tweet the other day, it's a picture from her new like Mesa biome house in real life and it was beautiful, just as an aside. But as a result, that is on my mind. So I think that this little one definitely needs the name Mesa. Oh, Jacqueline! <laughs> Thank you, Jacqueline. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have new emojis in no time at this rate. I just can't believe you guys. Oh, I'm blushing so hard. Continue on with the emoji suggestions, guys, and I might have to do a special update video collecting more ideas, and we'll work on custom emojis for the next live stream for sure. But little Mesa, I like that name because of her strong jaw. It reminds me of those beautiful, hard, crisp lines that you have in a Mesa biome. So I'm gonna name this little one Mesa. And then let's see, I want to have the little boy. Let me check in my my Discord chat to see if they picked up something. Uh, I kind of really like Solar. That is kind of a fun name, but I wonder like, uh, like, well, let me glance up. Hang on just one second. Uh, Agni, we're going to go with Agni. And I think a few of you guys may have suggested that, but it is for the Hindi god of fire, I think. Let me double check. The Hindu god of fire. And I think that works for him because solar would be really fun, but I want to save that for a nicheling that's more red and oranges. Uh, solar, Solaris, those kinds of names, soul, for reds and oranges um, on the nichelings. Because this little guy, he is, you know, I think and Agni just seems like a cute name for him. So there we go. We've got our twins. Now we have to keep them alive. This family has grown a little bit faster than I anticipated. So I'm going to go ahead. They've got 13 days left. So I think that that's plenty of time for Dusk to spend up here gathering some food. And I think that we're going to send little Sunray over here. No, where'd my berry bush go? Oh, there it is. She's going to collect from that berry bush. And I'm going to have Dawn. I'm going to have Dawn step over here and collect from this berry bush. And now we have to keep this huge family alive. Oh, thank you guys. Day six. That's right. See, I knew I would probably forget. You guys have to stay on top of it. I am so proud of all of you. <laughs> Keeping on top of it so that I don't forget. There we go. Day six for our little nichelings. Um, let's see. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Lena. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> you are spoiling me rotten. Oh my gosh. Also, the, the Discord is for our patrons, uh, guys, but I'll look into like sponsors being able to pop in there at uh, time too because they're about they're about the same thing. So we'll we'll talk about that later. But anyway, we've got to start spreading out and getting more food. Thank you guys so much for reminding me that it is day six. I am so immensely proud of all of you. I would have forgotten. Everybody's asleep. So wait, is now wait, I made time move. Is it now day six? Yes, no, so now it's day seven? Is it day seven now? 
I gotta wait for chat to catch up with me. Is it day six now or day seven? Day seven! I'm seeing day seven. All right, day seven. Thank you guys. <laughs> There's a lot going on, so I'm already so bad with numbers. There we go. I'm so proud of you guys. All right. All right, so let's see. Well, at least the good news about having little ones like this is that once they can start moving, they should have about five movement. So we should probably have them help us with moving some of the uh, grass around. So I'm going to go ahead and have Sunray gather up some berries from there. I'm going to have Dawn gather up some berries from here. I do not think that's... Oh, look, there's more berry bushes up here. Thank goodness. Okay, we're going to have to go after some of those berry bushes. I need to uncover all of our berry bushes too. We've got to be so careful. I'm so worried we're just going to like kill this tribe before we even get them started. All right. And then can he make it over there? Okay, we're going to go ahead and have Dusk uncover this berry bush. We have our emergency cactus. Crack open in case of emergency starvation. Uh, we will try to make their territory larger, Miss Lollipop. I agree with you. I think that would be a good thing to do. Um, and we're going to start clearing a path. In the past, when I have cleared the grass around our nichelings' territories, I've taken every blade of grass in this pack rat hoarding collecting passion of mine. <laughs> Look at the hedgehog. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you. Shut up and take my money, right? Oh my gosh. I love it. But uh, yeah, in the past, I've collected every blade of grass in our niche tribes. We are going to actually just clear paths in the savanna and use our runner's leg to kind of like zip through the path, like little ant paths. I think that'll help us out a bit more. All right. And then let me see. Yeah, Raw would be a good name in the future for those of you guys who have said it. Also, Savannah Rose, thank you so much for the kind message. All right, I think that's good. That's all we can do. Let's actually check something really quickly. How many more days in the lean? Okay, <sighs> 44 more days here. 44 more days, and then we can have lean body, which will definitely help us out. The reason our nichelings have decreased moves right now is that they're overheated. You can see this little icon right here. They are hot. It will decrease their energy. We are losing one gemstone move a turn, which is not good. We may have bitten off more than we could chew here. But all right, new day. I know what that means. Okay, I didn't hear the, the growl of a predator coming to eat us. So new day. Let me fix that really quickly. We are now on day eight. And yeah, chat can get a little excited sometimes. All right, so now we're day eight. Thank goodness. Thank you guys for reminding me. And then I think we have enough babies right now. We're actually going to not have any more babies for a little while um, because I think at worst come to worst, we have some brothers and sisters. <laughs> Uh, which sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do in niche. So instead, we're gonna work on trying to expand a little bit. So we're gonna spread out. Let's see. Um, what should we do? Let's smell. What? What? I don't know if this is a good or bad thing. Okay, they have claw. Should we invite them into the tribe? Let's go see who this is and how long they have to live because we might want to invite this new person into the tribe for their claw and their big ears. <gasps> you guys look at the big ears. Okay. Okay. We've got it. We've got to come see who this is. And I actually think the name Finnick would be really cool. We need those big ears or else I don't think we're going to survive. Dusk, jump over here. Where did you go? Where are you? No, don't you eat my berries. They're eating my berries. Those are those are my berries. I was about to get those. Those are my berries. <laughs> what are you doing? Those are my berries. Give my berries back. <laughs> I needed those. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, guys. Let's look at this one. Isanara C, which she's beautiful, by the way, a young female who still has 13 days left. She has got three heat resistance because she has those big old ears. She has three strength because she has claw. Uh, she's got short sighted eyes. She's got velvet paw, lean body recessive. Oh my gosh. She's got lean body recessive. Should she's got really horrific fertility, which isn't a terrible thing for a tribe that doesn't need to have a ton of babies. But I need to know yay or nay on inviting her into the tribe. That's this is pretty important here, actually. We do need those genes, I think, but yes or no on inviting her into the tribe because that will cost us five food. I'm gonna go ahead and have Dusk uh, 
try to dig for food here. No luck. And over here, Dawn can gather up one food. And over here, her daughter Sunray can gather up one food. And then let me see if I can get little Mesa. Come on, Mesa. She's gonna come up and we could try to gather up more food. All right, yeah, everybody says yes. I'm seeing lots and lots of yes. So I'm gonna go ahead and invite her into the tribe before she runs away because we do need those jeans. <laughs> um, so now we have nine food. I hope that was the right decision because <laughs> otherwise we're about to die. Um, all right, the good news is I think she can actually have more moves every day and I think she can destroy the berry bushes push come to shove. So thankfully she already brought in one one berry. Let me gather that up and I'm gonna move little Mesa over and we'll look out for more food. Oh, there we go. There's another berry bush over here and there's another cactus. If we're really, really careful, we might be okay. So yeah, there we go. Let me see. Um... I'm gonna have Dawn. We need to have everybody working hard on collecting up some things. We also need the nest to be repaired somehow. Uh, Dawn, what am I gonna do with you? Have you repair the nest? Stay around here, gather up nesting material. Try to repair the nest. We'll, we'll try to repair the nest maybe, or I should destroy it actually and have them keep moving. All right, guys. So we have now invited in Isa Ani to the tribe. She's got quite a few interesting genes. I do think you guys are right and we do need those genes. And let me go ahead and see, uh, let me grab a drink really quickly. And what should we name her, this beautiful creature who possibly might spell doom and disaster in our tribe? Let's see. Oh my gosh, I love that name. Oh, you guys, Hollow Wolves. I saw it a few other places, Tum Tumbleweed. Tumbleweed it is, T Tumbleweed. <laughs> Tumble, no, not thumble, Siri, not thumble, tumbleweed. Thumbleweed for those of uh, the creatures with a lisp, but I love the name tumbleweed. It doesn't really suit her colors, uh, but I really just love that name. We can pass it on. And if she saves the tribe or kills the tribe, she could be the new hero of the tribe. All right, so I think we're all set up now. New day. I kind of want a predator. Yes, yes, I kind of wanted a predator. <laughs> Because we can feast upon his body, as terrible as that sounds. <laughs> oh, we kind of needed a predator, um, yeah, to eat on. Uh, that's kind of just the way. That's kind of the way it is. Day nine. Thank you guys for reminding me. Day nine. Day nine. Let's go ahead and change it to day nine. There we go. Nice. All right. I love some of the names. Yes, we got. We got the. Yay. We have a predator. I don't mind right now. Dusk, give it all you've got. Uh, well, let's go ahead and have Tumbleweed give it all she has. No! 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 <laughs> okay. Do you guys see? Do you guys see? Do you guys see who's come to visit us? Do you see this? Do you see this? Do we want his jeans? Do we want his jeans? You guys. You guys, actually, actually, does he have lean body? Okay, hang on. Does he have lean body? <gasps> he has lean body. We want his babies. He has high fertility and lean body. <laughs> I think Tumbleweed is going to be able <laughs> I'm sorry, Tumbleweed. <laughs> Yeah, guys, actually, this works out. It may not seem like it's worth it, but he has lean body. And I don't think we have a choice because we either get eaten by the predator right now or we have a rogue child. I don't think we can chase the rogue child away, like the rogue away right now. He's gonna, cause you can attack them once, but if you don't convince them to run, they're still gonna mate with your female. So I think we're gonna end up with a rogue baby no matter what. I apologize, Tumbleweed. It's kind of a very, very busy, very confusing day for her right now. <laughs> One second invited into a tribe, the next second there's a rogue male and a predator at the same time. But I, I don't think we can get away from the rogue male in time. So I think we're just going to go ahead and focus on attacking and eating the predator. And then if the rogue male's child 
isn't able to do anything because those double crippled paws, those double deformed paws are actually not good. Um, if he can't do anything, we'll release him. Just we can banish him from the tribe. How about that? And if he really isn't helpful at all, then he can help us and become a hero by feeding from the cactus. And we'll put him down in the Hall of Heroes. Yay. And I'm sure that's okay for feeding him to a cactus. We're feeding him from a cactus. <laughs> So, uh, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna continue attacking this Barina. I, I, who know? She's pregnant. Okay, that happened. It just, it happened. Also, did I change the day? Let me know if I change the day, guys. Dusk is gonna attack this guy now. The Barina still has a little bit more to him. I'm gonna have his sister Mesa jump over. She can help out with attacking. I'm gonna have Agni, the male, get away from all this chaos. And I'm gonna have my two females down here. Ha ha ha. I don't have enough food. <laughs> oh dear, uh, I really don't have enough food. Um, gonna have Dawn jump up here because I think there's yeah there's more food up here and we can at least try to dig for some of the roots that are hiding in there so Kaka Tata -ta, curse you gamer 15 uh you're right Tata -ta, I'm sure this is his fault but let's go ahead and try to eat this Barina uh the tables are gonna be turned on you sir so next day don't attack her! Of all of the creatures you could have picked, there were delicious other nichelings than Tumbleweed and her precious big ears. <laughs> no. <laughs> then why, Tumbleweed? You weren't supposed to actually take the hit. You were supposed to be fine. Day 10, day 10. Oh my goodness. All right. <sighs> all right, so let's see. Tumbleweed needs healed. Thankfully, Dawn can go ahead and we'll lick Tumbleweed to heal her. There's the rogue male back again to cause trouble. He's not getting these berries. Dawn snagged those berries. Um, <laughs> so let's go ahead. Agni is going to grab these berries. Can I feed everybody? Almost. Oof. Okay, yeah, there's no way to do that. So I'm just going to gather up that. Okay, hang on, guys. What are you? Sorry, I probably just blasted the mic. Uh, I am sad to report that while I was busy trying to grab enough berries to feed our tribe, which is probably... I'm, I'm going to level with you. I don't know if our tribe's going to make it to the end of the day. We might have to restart <laughs> this tribe. Maybe not on a Savannah Island. We'll have to see. Um, but we're going to um, just have to acknowledge that there's a second rogue baby on the way now with Dawn. So, yeah, this is, this is, this is, this is a little bit, whew. And also, Elegant the Hedgehog for, you can send a screenshot of one of your nichelings so I can, like, cut the picture of the nicheling out and put it down in the bottom for the next stream. You can send it to my seriously at gmail.com email with, seriously with three eyes. Uh, uh, picture that. It's actually the exact same as my Twitter and my Instagram handle just with at gmail.com. So that's my business email for important businessy things, but mail for Siri at gmail.com is my fan mail for fan art things like that oh my goodness so we're gonna kill the predator now because we've got some hungry mamas in this tribe and tumbleweed is gonna go ahead and eat him look at that yay can i kill the rogue and eat him oh my gosh <laughs> he's causing so much trouble in my tribe and he literally just got here misa is gonna jump over here and now she has at least found another delicious berry bush. So we do have another delicious berry bush. Thank goodness. Uh, and yeah, Tumbleweed, the Berina killer. Woo! Go Tumbleweed. So if you guys think that she should be a hero, then keep her name going for a little bit. But Dawn is still around. Uh, we need kind of need a moment to catch our breath. So let's see. Dusk is going to jump over here. And he is going to go ahead. Don't you dare, Misa isn't even an adult yet. I'm gonna kill that rogue, I swear. He is causing so much trouble. I do want his lean body though. Hmm, all right. All right, guys, <laughs> next day. I'm glad we had enough food for a day. All right, somebody, <gasps> and he's sick. He has doubled up immunity. I forgot about that. He's got double K immunity. You guys, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, day 11. Day 11, this is, this is gonna be kind of tricky. 
At least the good thing is, as we survive each and every day and it slowly but surely goes past, we only need to survive 40 more days on this Savannah Island in order to unlock the lean body. But this is so much harder than I remember, <laughs> for sure. So let's see. And this is just a medium difficulty island in the full release of Niche. Talk about ridiculous. If we manage to survive to the end of the day, I will be uploading the save files and then you guys can all have a chance. If you've got Niche, and I think it's on sale right now if you don't, then you can play the save file with this family once if they survive the end of the day. And I kind of am tempted to back them up now just in case. <laughs> And then you can take them wherever you so wish. And if you can survive a while with them or if they all die off, you can take a screenshot and show me the pictures later. And I'll kind of play them at the beginning of the next stream that we do. But that we'll talk about later, just a little aside. Oh, tumbleweed. Thank goodness. All right, we changed the day, right? Changed the day to day 11. Sunray can gather up food from here. And I'm going to have. Oh my gosh. The rogue. The row got Misa pregnant. Mesa. Oh my gosh. I just, I can't even. What are we going to do? If, well, at least Agni's safe. Poor Agni. Oh my gosh. Is he coming for Sunray? I'm going to have to attack that rogue. But I don't want to waste moves attacking him when we desperately need food. All right. So let's see. We're going to assess the food situation for a second. We need to reveal where each of the current berry bushes is. And then I'm not going to have any of my females give birth. None of them. Tumbleweed, I might need her to give birth pretty soon. But she still has five days left. Um, so I'm not going to have her give birth just yet. Give me just a second, guys. I'm going to have Misa. I'm going to have Dusk. Dusk might have to sacrifice himself at this point with the cactus. I'm going to have him come out kind of far looking for more food. And I swear that rogue, that rogue, that rogue. He needs a name now because he has just fathered all the babies that are going to be born. Our entire tribe, the entire generation three is going to be fathered by this rogue. I wish I could. Okay, somebody suggested, Katie suggested inviting him in. Our, our sponsor and patron, Katie, suggested inviting him into the tribe so that we can sacrifice him to the cactus. If I could do that, I totally would. Um, a lot of you guys say name him Tata, but let's give him, he doesn't really look like Tata. And can I, can I name him? I think I can name him if I do that trick that we learned. Can I name him? No, they fixed it. Okay, so I can't name the rogue, but he has a he has a, a rogue. Uh, Blaze, Toto, Toto. I think disaster. Just name him disaster. Oh my gosh, he's that <laughs> stray stars. I agree. He kind of mustard. He's gonna be named mustard. I like that because I don't really like mustard. Don't tell chips. Chips loves mustard, but this is mustard the rogue, and he has just fathered almost our entire generation three. I have no idea what we're going to do with him because I don't really want to waste moves attacking him, but he he's caused a lot of trouble for his time. All right, so we've got lots of berries over here. Thank goodness. I say lots of berries in quotation marks. We want to really, really, really keep the population low on this tribe for a little bit. Dawn is going to try to dig around for some roots and tumbleweed. I might have to send tumbleweed down. Oh, the nest is gone. I have to gather nesting material or else Tumbleweed's not going to be able to have a baby in time. This is hard. I don't know if this tribe is going to make it, you guys, and you're working so hard. I'm going to work really hard at trying to keep this tribe alive by the skin of our teeth because otherwise I'm going to be really sad because you guys have worked so hard with giving me names and support on them and I'm going to feel really sad if this tribe dies. So I'm going to do my best. But uh, I need to an Ender Girl 37 name and regret. I agree that would have been a fun name. You guys, it's not being unicorn name and sacrifice. Um, I'm gonna have to focus on having Tumbleweed gather up grass because I need her to have her baby. If she doesn't have her baby, we lose out on her genes, and we, which is why we sacrificed five food to invite her in. And we also lose out on the genes that she could possibly have that would help us out on this island. So let's go ahead and we're going to go ahead and also keep it somewhat family friendly if you can, please. In fact, family friendly in the, in the chat, please. Uh, and then let's see. So mustard. Oh, you little jerk mustard. At least with all the females pregnant, we won't be able to worry about that. So next day. 
and I got to focus for a second because this is actually a lot harder than I anticipated. This is not as easy as just hanging out on the main island and just rolling around with all of those wonderful nuts and food and everything else that we've got on the main islands. <laughs> all right, so we're going to have, I'm gonna have Misa gather up the food here and here so she can cover both of those spots. I'm going to have Dawn jump over here and gather up this food and I'm gonna have Agni start searching for more food resources. Um, and I think he's just gonna have to start maybe walking along. Okay, so the good bad news is that there's some cactuses over here that Agni is kind of keeping an eye on. And there's another rogue creature up here. So I'm gonna have Tumbleweed. I'm not gonna let her move. I'm gonna have her gather up as much material as possible. She, we need four more pieces. She has four more days and we need four more pieces or else we won't be able to get enough Okay, we're gonna gather up the berries because I can't pass up food. And then I'm going to have Sunray sit right here. Ooh, food or... Mm. I'm gonna have... Dang it, I was hoping she could gather up that. Darn it. Okay, this is gonna be hard, guys. <laughs> this is gonna be hard. Also, Katie, thank you. Katie points out, yeah, the band hammer will come down hard on uh, if you guys aren't keeping it family friendly. Not because I want to like go after you guys, but just because that's the kind of environment, like a happy kind of environment we're trying to promote. Even though we're being attacked by mustard left and right. All right, new day. Let's go ahead and see if we can actually make it through this. We need to get a little bit of a surplus of food. We have two days left. It is now day 13. Barbecue would be an adorable name, Gamer15250. Uh, also, thank you very much, Chocolate Chip, for mentioning that it's day 13. Let's see if I can handle this. I think we're gonna go ahead and say Dusk is done having babies. Uh, he's done having babies because he's kind of like just an accessory male at the moment, which sounds really terrible, but all of our females are pregnant. Same with little Agony over here. I think he's done having, uh, like he's not gonna have a chance to father anybody anytime soon because <laughs> we've already got every single female pregnant. We're going to gather up, uh, are, is that our rogue male again? I swear. We're gonna gather up some berries with sun ray. She also gathered up some nesting material. We're going to have Dawn gather up berries. She's gonna gather up nesting material. She's already pregnant, Mustard. Wait, is this even Mustard? Is this a new rogue male? This is a whole new rogue male. What, who's this? We have Mustard. Who, what evil condiment is this? <laughs> like, I think, Honey Mustard? <laughs> is this Honey Mustard, the cousin of Mustard? <laughs> Wait, somebody saw fire? Is something on fire? Oh my gosh, there's a fire! We're gonna keep going for another hour on stream, guys. Because Dijon, I love it. Dijon. He thinks he's he th he's a honey mustard, the Dijon mustard rogue, and he thinks that he's hot stuff, but he's not. There's fire. There's fire. Uh, we're gonna keep going for at least another hour because I have a feeling, I have a feeling <laughs> that this tribe isn't going to live past today despite the beautiful efforts made to make a gorgeous little overlay for them. I, I was so proud. I'm not, I, I can't believe I've put over 140 hours into this game and I'm not good enough to just start on the Savannah Island. <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> Oh, there's a fire. There's a fire. Okay. All right. Deep breath, Siri. Focus, focus, focus. Our goal is still to help Tumbleweed have that baby ASAP. She is not going to be here much longer. Uh, the other females, except for Dawn, are young enough. Go away, Dijon. Your cousin Mustard already caused enough trouble here. We don't need your your help. Unless you want to join the tribe and be sacrificed to the cactus. Because at this rate, that's the way that it's going to turn out. We're going to have to start catching creatures and sacrificing them to the cactus. I can't believe this. That's, that's going to be the fate of future nichelings. All right. And I'm going to have Tumbleweed. I would... I don't see... We could technically try to attack Dijon and chase him away and be like, Honey Mustard, you aren't good enough for this life right now, go away. But that would waste a move and we don't wanna waste moves. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and have Tumbleweed jump up here. Hang on really quickly, gonna do a quick 
quick check, jump up here, and I'm gonna have her search for more. Okay, so she just needs one more piece of grass, and then she can go ahead and have her baby. Yeah, <laughs> the condiments taste good on cactus berries. That's our threat. Condiments taste good on, mustard tastes good on cactus berries. That's our warning to the rogues. <laughs> To let them know. <laughs> you mess with us? Well, guess what? Condiments taste good on cactus berries. <laughs> so, oh my gosh. I know. I hope she doesn't die before she has her baby too, Eve. So let me go ahead and just focus on trying to find some more food. There's another berry bush up here. I'm going to have Agni start running for that. <gasps> Agni! Good job! Agni has just found you guys. There's a lot of rogues walking around us by the way, but Agni has just found a really awesome nest the yellow one. Thank you so much uh, Kiss uh, Saraloka kiss. Thank you so much. That is not a rogue. You're right. This yellow right here is another wanderer uh, Considering we're about to lose some nichelings I would be tempted to invite them into the tribe if for no other reason than cactus sacrifices I suppose the path to glory in our legend seekers would actually be kind of aggressive, just to say the least. Uh, but we'll be looking into that in just a little bit. There are two rogues down here. So the condiments are hanging out down here. The other, the other wanderer is up there. And the fire is still going. <laughs> so yeah, Agni the nest finder. So let's see. All right. Let's see, is that everybody? Has everybody moved? Okay, good, everybody has moved. Give me just a moment, we're gonna move the day. All right, day counters. No, don't you come in here with your your pestilence. Oh, I swear, these, these rogues, they're all so sickly, they're so rude. All right, day 14, you guys. Wait, there's round ears? Oh wait, oh, he does have the round ears. You guys are right. Honey mustard has the round ears. Okay, give me just a second. Uh, also, oh cool. So Shrieking Pterodactyl points out, if you get the wanderer pregnant and chase her into the nest, she'll give birth and the baby will be part of the tribe. I, I will have to try that out sometime. It'd be kind of interesting. I wonder if one of our nichelings isn't able to contribute to the tribe, we probably should start releasing them actually. Hmm. All right, I need a drink of water. All this, all this <laughs> that has been going on. Okay. And then let's see. I think the most important baby we can have is with Tumbleweed uh, right now. So I'm going to have her jump into the nest. Is there any food she could reach for? There's no food she could reach for if she gets in the nest. Yeah, I thought I saw a little root under there. So I'm going to have her try to dig for a root here. No luck, and she's gonna jump into the nest, and now Tumbleweed is going to give birth the next move. We're going to have Misa gather up these berries right here. We're gonna have Dusk gather up these berries. And then you guys, I am, oh, <laughs> Sassy Serious Stream, thank you, Renee. <laughs> yes, yeah, so that's, oh, she's silly girl. One of our amazing patrons, uh, it's just absolutely fantastic and salad dressing i love that as a possible name uh yeah day 14 shambling bear day 14 everyone is pregnant thanks mustard almost starving cactus fruit has never seemed so tasty so you guys what do you think about the founding parents starting to gather from cactuses i feel like dawn and dusk would kind of realize that things are not looking very good do you think that they should start to collect from cactuses because they're suddenly realizing that things are not going the best? I kind of think they would. Um, just because they like, yeah, yeah. A few people are saying do it. A few people are saying no cactus. <sighs> but I, it's like a parent's sacrifice, like a parent's noble sacrifice if that does happen. The fire is getting a little uncomfortably close. I'm keeping an eye on it. But it is a little uncomfortably close. I'm not gonna lie. And did I change the day? Let me know if I changed the day while well, I have- <gasps> Look at all of those roots! If only we had Digger's Paw. Okay, Agni, he's gonna jump up here and gather up the berries from there. And then I'm, I'm gonna have little Sunray gather up those berries and jump down here so she can gather up these berries next time. And then... Yeah. Okay, let's see. Okay, just checking the chat really quickly. And then let me... Okay, so the only creatures we have left to move are Dawn and Dusk. So let me go ahead 
And yeah, sacrifice or, okay, everyone's saying, like, I'm seeing a lot of cactus emojis. So I think because we're at 18 food, I think that the parents being older and with all of their daughters pregnant would kind of feel like they need to do whatever it takes to feed their children. So I really hate to do it, but I do think that there might need to be some sacrifices involved with living on this island. So I'm going to have Dusk scooch down here. And then he is going to start collecting from the cactus if need be. I'm going to have Dawn collect the last berry that she can from there. And then I'm going to have her actually jump over and help out with the, the, the noble sacrifice of helping out by collecting from cactuses. So she's going to come down here. All right. And is that everybody? That is everybody. And we're going to have Tumbleweed's child with honey mustard staring on i swear i think i think if tumbleweed survives this long enough i will honor her <laughs> by letting her go ahead and smacking honey mustard across the face with those claws because she kind of deserves it at this rate oh <gasps> predator yes yes oh my gosh okay that's food that's food and yes, I know Dawn is pregnant, but I don't know if we'll be able to make her have her baby in time because we have to be so careful. Day 15, you guys, day 15, and there's a predator. I have never been so happy. Tumbleweed is going to jump over and she is going to do her best for the family by bam, one smack to the face, Rala. You are about to end up becoming, ooh, Rala. Ooh, she has 14, hmm, or four, four attack, hmm, hmm. Let's see, let's see. And I know that Agni is just gonna do his best over here. Rala ran off, so I don't wanna worry about her at the moment. Um, how many days does Tumbleweed have left? I, I think that she's about to be attacked. And oh no, Agni is our only male. All right, we just had a little baby, guys. <laughs> let's back it up a little bit and look at the little baby. She has big ears, so she does have heat resistance. She's short-sighted, she has derp snout. She has one claw, actually. C and K immunity, hemophilia, so she will actually uh, bleed out if she gets attacked. So not the best moves, but what should we do for our wee little ra ra ra? What should her name be? Um, she was one of Mustard's kids. And then, let's see. And then we should be able, oh, we could rename him now. <gasps> Thank you so much for Riz Wisp for telling me that. So Mustard, there we go. We have renamed Mustard. All right. And now we need to rename uh, Mustard's baby. So Rara, Ra, the firstborn, what should she be? I see the name Peanut. Custard showing up. Relish. <laughs> Horseradish. <laughs> I kind of like the name Custard for her. She's just a wee little one. Uh, she is kind of custard flavored or maybe honey. What about Custard or Honey, you guys, of those two? Maybe Honey and save Custard for a boy's name. What do you guys think? So those are the two just that I see, custard or honey. And I'm going to take a drink while you guys, while you guys call it and then also figure out. <laughs> and also apparently there's some, okay, cactus, honey. Okay, we're going to go with honey and we'll save custard for a boy. Uh, hopefully we have a male. I bet you guys can't imagine what kind of tea I'm drinking right now for my little owl mug. It's a mystery. The world will never guess what kind of tea I love. All right, and we're gonna name this little one Honey. There we go. So now we have little Honey. <laughs> and uh, we're going to go ahead. Yeah, not peach at all. People say, yeah, this is peach tea, I promise. Uh, and we're going to, what can I do? I honestly think Dusk would go ahead and just straight up gather from the cactus because it's the, the easiest resource. I'm gonna have Sunray gather up food down here, jump up here to collect up more. We've still got Misa and we've got, there we go. So we're not doing terrible on food, but we're not really making any progress either <laughs> with some of these, so it's kind of chaotic. Um, I'm gonna have Dawn jump over here so that she can protect her, her little granddaughter and also so she can gather from the cactus. You guys have demanded a gather from the cactus. I think that that's a smart idea. I'm gonna let it, while I look around for just a second, this is the last time I'm gonna check with you guys. Do we allow them to gather from the cactuses? I would probably say yes, because also if we lose some more nichelings and keep the numbers really low, that's less mouths to feed. And I feel like Dawn and Dusk, uh, they're, they've only got 
four days remaining. So let me go ahead and grab my water. Will you guys decide? Yeah, I'm seeing yes. Okay. I agree. I agree. Yep, I'm seeing the cactus emoji, which makes me ridiculously happy. Thanks to all of our amazing sponsors. I'm still blushing. I, my cheeks feel like I could probably like roast an egg on them or something. They're so hot uh, from blushing. But from all of our amazing sponsors, I'll be able to try to put together some custom emojis later. And I'm really, really, really looking forward to doing those with you guys in the next stream. So maybe we'll have some little cra cravats. And then when something bad happens, maybe we'll have a little ta-ta pop up, uh, which if any of you remember what Tata looked like? Could you send me a message about that sometime? I may have forgotten what the original Tata actually looked like. I didn't, I just, it's my secret, my secret. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> so I'm sorry. I know a lot of you guys are like, no. Yeah, hashtag Audrey, hashtag Roger the Cactus Knight. I know it's sad to sacrifice some of them, but I think, I think, I think we need the food. Oh, Dusk, it didn't even give us that much food. Forgive me, Dusk. I think we're just going to say he kind of wandered into the desert. Dusk! <laughs> Goodbye. It is day 15, pretty sure. I can't believe Dusk died. Maybe I changed my mind about that, to be honest. Because <laughs> John's going to die if I have her <laughs> collect from this cactus. Um, Dusk just died, which makes me sad. But we have the other males, and I feel like he was just sort of a simple soul who loved listening to his mate tell stories about glory as, as the sun rose. Um, but I think that it's going to actually help us to not have as many nichelings to feed. I don't know how I feel about having Dawn die just yet. So I'm going to scooch her over to kind of stand guard over the baby for just a moment. So little honey is there with her big ears and I'm going to go ahead and next day. Tumbleweed. <laughs> Tumbleweed. I feel like she earned a hero's death, guys. I truly do. <laughs> Can we let's change the hero? I think even Dawn standing here with her newborn grandchild by her side. I I truly feel that that Dawn would feel like giving up her name as the hero and being the leader of the tribe and the storyteller would want Tumbleweed to have the title of a hero. What should Tumbleweed's name be now? We're gonna put her name down in our hall of heroes because she has earned it. It is day 16. Thank you. But I feel like Tumbleweed definitely has has earned her place in our legacy. That was really sad. Can I please kill this? Can I please please kill this predator? I'm gonna have Dawn like oh who how much how much more how much more to die on this predator? Uh, I feel like Dawn might have to attack too. But Agony is like my only male. <laughs> it's gonna be a problem if he dies. <laughs> Tumbleweed the Slayer. Um, let me see. Tumbleweed the Brave. Tumbleweed the savior, Tumbleweed the wind whisperer. Ooh, I like that one. The courageous, the survivor, the swift slayer, the protector. Tumbleweed the sacrifice. Uh, tumbleweed the fox. Uh, tumbleweed. Uh, oh, thank you so much, Purple Candy Corn. Hello and welcome to being one of our, our sponsors. I need to, to find out. Uh, tumbleweed the slayer. Tumbleweed the fox kind of sounds fun. Um, oh my gosh. Oh, thank you, Flamey Servant! Oh, thank you so much! I hope you have a wonderful day! Oh my goodness! Uh, Flamey Servant says, recently found your channel and wanted to say thank you. I never saw that positivity and love for nature. It helped me go outside more. And I really hope you have a wonderful day and are able to go outside more. Oh, I'm so happy! Oh, Tumbleweed the Fire Seeker! Thank you! I oh, thank you! Oh, guys! I'm so... It's Tumbleweed the Valiant! You know what? You know what, I kind of feel like Tumbleweed the Valiant is definitely, it, she was very valiant. I feel like that's what we're going to go ahead and we're gonna rename her Tumbleweed the Valiant. So let me go ahead. How do you spell Valiant? <laughs> is it with an E or an A? Uh, I have, I'm seeing multiple, hey, hey, uh, let's see. Um, uh, let, hang on one second, I'm gonna double check. How do you spell Valiant? <laughs> I totally butchered it. Okay, hang on. I'm waiting for... <laughs> help me. Help me, Discord chat. Oh, I'm getting a little loud. Sorry about that. Uh, that... I'm... Oh, there we go. I had it right. Okay, good. 
All right, there we go. Tumbleweed the Valiant. She's gonna go down in our hearts and in our memory forever and evermore. There we go, you guys. Okay. Oh, my heart. <laughs> Valinette, yeah, I'm sorry. When I get flustered, I can't spell correctly. And we've got like amazing flamey serpent being so kind uh, with the super chatting too. I love it. So Tumbleweed the Valiant, she has passed away. I think this whole tribe is about to pass away. Dude, are you really going to be messing with us when there's like a fire coming behind us? I think this, this is either going to be amazing and we survive by the skin of our teeth, or we're going to learn never start just straight up on savannah island so uh, apologies if we die we're doing our best against the evil condiments um acne okay do i have grandma okay we're gonna move everybody else first to see what it's gonna take so the thing is mesa and sunrise actually still have a lot of life left to them and we've got three moves worth of food over here so i'm gonna have grandma jump up here i'm gonna have these two attack uh, I think I'm, and then poor little honey is just like, ah, <laughs> like on her own. <laughs> she's, she's frantically trying to survive. Hide in the grass, little honey. Don't get eaten, please. Are there birds here? If there's birds here, don't, oh my gosh, there's another fire. There's two other fires. Mm, honey, <laughs> stay alive, little honey. What a world to be born in. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> There's so much fire. <laughs> All right. At least if we die, we'll die with glory the way that the legend seekers would want you guys. <laughs> okay. Dawn just died. The fire is spreading. The other fires are spreading. The Barina is still strong. Um, let's see. We still have two pregnant females. We're down to four creatures. <laughs> we have a new day. Ah, uh, we might, I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna do my best. You guys have invested so much, so much in these little ones. I'm gonna do my best. Agony, you're gonna die no matter what I do now, buddy. I'm so sorry. Little honey has a lot of strength. I need her to just prepare herself. She's, oh my gosh, she can't even, she can't even, she can't even harvest from the berry bushes, guys. Okay, Misa, okay. I might have to have, I'm gonna have the girls start moving. So Sunray, I'm gonna have them go to the permanent nest. I'm just gonna have them try to make a new nest, I think. Um, if it rains, then we'll name a child Rain and they'll be our good luck. Where's Team Weather at this time? Okay, okay, all right, let's see. All right, new day. Agony! <laughs> 18 and death I agree <laughs> 140 hours in this game I have I should be able to make it with one tribe on the Savannah Island <laughs> <laughs> okay, everybody's voting Honey the new tribe leader. Do you guys think Honey? Honey should be the new tribe leader? Um, we have little Sunray down here. I'm gonna have her gather, I'm gonna have her sister gather some food over here. I'm gonna have her gather some nest material. Um, the reason that I freaked out for those of you wondering what happened is we have a brand new Barina Predator right behind us and everybody's voting. Okay, did I change the day? Is it? It's day 18. Day 18. I was so shocked. My heart is still pounding. Day 18, three creatures. I think we're gonna die. We don't have any males left. What a first stream to try. Oh dear. All these fancy little things I made. I was so proud. I'm so proud. You know what they call this? They call this hubris. That's what they call this. <laughs> All right, new tribe leader, honey. There we go. There we go. There, there's our new tribe leader. 
I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry you have like nothing to your life. Forgive me. <laughs> oh no. Okay, I think we should send her after the other predator because he's almost dead. She has high attack. At the very least, maybe she can like slash him, eat him, and run, meet with at this rate a rogue, at this rate another nicheling to invite her in. <laughs> Uh, a few of you guys are saying leave the island. So here's the thing. Should we, if we get down to one nicheling, should we just run to a new island? I kind of think we should. Uh, even though the goal, the goal <laughs> was, <laughs> the goal was to try to get all the way to Savannah. Okay, I've got to take a, I've got to take a tea, a tea break for just a second with my little tea, my little tea owl, my little owl full of tea. Yeah, everyone's saying we should run. We should, should we just run now? Should we just grab some food and the lean jeans we picked up on the island and just run now? Let me know. Like should, yes, like this second, should we run? All right, everyone's saying flee, flee. Run, 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 run. Where's the nearest exit? The nearest exit's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> the nearest portal is on fire. <laughs> Why are Savannah Islands so hard? <laughs> That's the way out. That's the way out right here. It's on fire. <laughs> There's no mercy. This is not survival of the fittest. This isn't survival at all. We've also got another portal over here. That's not the peaceful island. Um, all right, guys. So I think we're going to run for it. We have a bit of food. We might be able to grab some food on the run. <laughs> should we go? Should we go to the flowers that are on fire or should we try to go to the grass that is to the right? So flowers or grasslands? I need to know. Let me know either with like your your emojis or just like flower or grass in the, the quotes. And yeah, everyone's, honey the, oh, I love that. Twirlsy Cat says, honey the fire sprinter. She went down with honor. I love that name. If honey survives this, she will be known as honey the fire sprinter because that's a beautifully amazing name. Okay, everyone's saying flowers, flowers. I'm seeing flowers, flowers, flowers. <laughs> Yeah, this is just like the the little meme. We've got some chats going on in our Patreon Discord right now saying that this is just like the little meme where everything is on fire and the dog is just sitting there going, this is fine. This is this is exactly like that right now. Everything is literally on fire. All right, everyone says flowers. So we're gonna go for flowers, guys. We're gonna try to run for flowers. Forget this, we have some of the genes. We've got a few days left to live. Can we make it in time? Let's get out of here. Honey, we've got to make you move. I think I'm gonna have her come up and maybe, or should I just have her run? I'm just gonna have her run. I'm gonna have her run. Just run, honey, just run. <laughs> Forget this. I know, oh, don't you get attacked. No, honey. Oh no, okay, okay, what to do? Okay, uh, she's wounded. Oh, honey, no, she's gonna die. Honey, you're our leader, stay alive. Sunray, move Sunray. There's a freaking cactus in your way, Sunray. Okay, deep breaths. Oh yes, thank you, day 19, day 19. Don't forget to remind me, guys. Day 19, what a day. Okay, Whew. all right, so day 19. We've got Honey, she has hemophilia. She just got attacked. I don't think that's gonna go over well. I'm gonna have her run this way. I'm gonna have her run this way. I don't know if Honey's gonna make it, guys. She has got those rogues on her tail. We have her two pregnant sisters. Is that another rogue? <gasps> it's a new creature. Should we should we invite him in and just make him pick the cactuses and distract the Barina? Hmm. Do we sacrifice five food for that, or do we just keep moving? I need to drink water. This has been a little bit to deal with. A lot of you guys are saying invite him in and cactus sacrifice. I think this is a sign. The rain has come. Uh, his name is Bait, everyone says. 
<laughs> we're gonna invite him in and we're gonna go ahead and little Kuta uh, let's see let's see and then I'm gonna keep honey moving if I can let's see if I can get her on up here there we go if I can I'm gonna have Mesa give her a lick and try to cure her or like at least stop her from bleeding and we're gonna continue to run it's so far away the the rain the rain has put out the fire you guys oh shark bait oh my gosh that's a beautiful name okay he's gonna be named shark bait even though he's cactus bait technically and I'm gonna have Sunray go ahead invite him into the tribe hi buddy I'm so sorry it if it helps I'm gonna have her go this way and then I'm going to have him come down. He can collect up harmlessly for a little bit and kind of fuel the females in there in their fleeing. So there we go. So the rain is here. We're down to three creatures. <laughs> we are going to be naming this guy. He, he just showed up out of the blue. He doesn't tell us anything about his mysterious past. We don't know anything about him. All we know is his name is Sharkbait. And that, that's what he says. He's codenamed Sharkbait. He, he won't tell us his secrets. He won't tell us why he's willing to do this for us. But he's going, I'm sorry, Abby. He cannot live because, because we've got to run for it. <laughs> so let's do this. We're going to try to keep running. I don't know if Honey... No, Honey! Honey, my dear. Oh, I don't think Honey is going to make it. Oh, I just don't know. Yeah, this isn't good. This isn't good. Um, Yeah, this is a new Verena, so I can't even... Oh my gosh, will we live for 20 days? Thank you, elegant hedgehog. The world may never know. I'm gonna let Misa go ahead and like lick honey and they're both gonna just run, 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 run for it. Run, 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 my girls. Up we go, up we go. Maybe that's far enough away that we'll be safe from the attentions of the Barina. I'm gonna have Sunray go along here. I'm gonna have Sharkbait. I would let him attack that rogue male if I could, but Sharkbait, he's noble. He's got noble sacrifices within him. Or should I have him move up and collect food? Glancing at how much food we have left. <sighs> I'm gonna have him move up. I'm not gonna have him collect from the cactuses just yet. I'm gonna have him move up to where Sunray is. Oh, oh, thank you, day 20, day 20. Don't slack off on that, you guys. Clearly, there's so much drama going on that I could definitely end up going. <laughs> I could definitely end up going a little bit, a little bit off track without you guys keeping me on track. So we're gonna move Shark Bay up to where Sunray is and then we will continue on. But I'm gonna have him scooch over here. Okay, the drama is real. No predators, no predators. <gasps> okay, thank goodness. Okay, no predators just yet. I'm gonna have our lovely Sunray keep running for it. Shark Bait. Okay, you've gotta bring in at least some food every move, buddy. Um. Can they, okay, he's gonna have to collect up the food. I'm sorry, shark bait. But we need the girls to be able to literally run for it. Honey is gonna destroy that berry bush. And then, oh, what's this? Danger with a pen. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear your mother passed away. And I would be very happy to name a creature Carrie. Oh, purple heart is beautiful. So thank you so much, Danger with a Pen. I'm so glad that our con evil condiments and fire catching islands and all the drama that's going on can, it definitely can kind of help you just have a good laugh for a little while, but Carrie, so I'm gonna write that down so I don't forget. I, I don't know if in, in, I don't know if in the goodness of my heart I could name a creature Carrie at the moment, considering the fate of this tribe is probably sealed, but it's on my list to name a creature in the future. So thank you very much for that. If nothing else, I will name the founding female of the next tribe, should this one not endure, uh, Carrie. So thank you so much for that. Uh, and so day 21, thank you guys. Don't back up on that because I will forget because there is... <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's gonna die. No, I didn't say that. Wouldn't it be ironic if Sharkbait was the only one left alive? And he 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 carries on the morbid final moment tales. All right, let's see. Uh, let's see. Let's see. What to do? What to do? Already moved Sharkbait. Already moved Sunray. I don't know if Sunray can make it. Are we gonna have? Are we literally gonna have to have a Misa's baby that she's been carrying since she turned into an adult and like kick the baby onto the flower island by itself? Is that how this is going to end? <laughs> oh my gosh! All right, let's keep moving. Honey is gonna scooch up here. And actually, there is a nest. There is a nest. 
Uh, can we make it though? I think we can make it. I think we can make it with Misa and we have enough nesting material. So we're gonna keep running guys. Oh, thank goodness. And we're gonna have Honey destroy every single bush behind her as we run. All right, let's keep going guys. All right. Really? I didn't hear the sound of danger, destruction, death, fire, rogues, predators. Really? Okay. If you say so, game. If you say so. Will we live? Everyone's like, will we live? That is Cassie Wild. That is so sweet of you to everyone's. Everyone's feeling pretty, pretty optimistic that we're gonna live. I really, I really look up to you guys for that. Um, all right, we're gonna keep moving with Mr. Sharkbait over here. Uh, I need him to hurry up, and I don't want to have to. <gasps> ketchup! It's ketchup! <laughs> and we have some calls! We have some calls! Uh, we have some calls for, um, for for Sharkbait to be called Sharkbait the Savior. So if you guys think that we should change the hero to Sharkbait the Savior, then let me know. She's pregnant. <laughs> Honey, are you gonna make it seven more seven more days? I honestly don't know. Should I just have her have her baby and pass it on to Misa and just like continue to kick this child towards that runaway little spot? I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna have Sunray keep running towards her siblings. Um, oh my gosh! Yeah, everyone's saying Sharkbait the savior. So I think I think it's time to update our hero try, like our hero list. So we're gonna go with Sharkbait the savior. <laughs> He's our recent hero. <laughs> This is too much. Why does this kind of intensity never happen in our normal episodes? Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Hang on. So we have people in our Discord chat saying, uh, go as far as we can with honey because the baby will have to take a few days to move. And I actually do agree with that. So I think we should actually keep them moving rather than go ahead and have a baby right now because we're pretty close to the exit. I don't actually know if Sunray is going to make it with us if I'm totally honest because we're really, we're really kind of pushing it. She's pushing it with only six days left to live. Her sister Misa is a couple days younger. So yeah, other people say they agree. We should try to to push it a little bit further if we get down to just one day on honey we do have enough grass that we can let honey since, since she's the current tribe leader have her baby and keep moving so we're gonna keep moving i'm going to destroy this bush with honey which uses up one of her moves but it gives us a lot more food than if we didn't destroy the bush i'm gonna have misa keep moving there we go so yeah i think that they can actually make it to the end um i can't believe ketchup got honey pregnant Oh my gosh. I'm gonna try to bring Sunray. I promise, I promise, Eminem girls, I am not trying to uh, to abandon Sunray. I just don't know if she can make it. Also, bye Rainpool uh, 2016. I hope you have a great time. It has been uh, chaotic. This has just been fantastic. Um, ketchup. <laughs> oh my gosh, dog girl. Ketchup coming to avenge mustard and Dion. I can't even talk anymore. Dijon. Oh my gosh. All right. Let's see if we can make it to the next island, guys. You guys ready for this? <laughs> yeah. People are like, I never expected ketchup getting honey pregnant to be a thing, but that's what happened. All right. It's still quiet. It almost is too quiet. What could be happening? All right. So... Yeah, Shambling Bear says, the condiment conundrum. This has been amazing. <laughs> this has been amazing. All right, let's keep moving. We're going to have our dear shark bait. What? 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 Shark bait. Shark bait, you have a son? You have a son? <laughs> Okay, 
I'm going to take care of the girls. You guys let me know. Is it really worth five food to invite in a baby nicheling who is blind and will never make it to the portal and who only has, he does have digger's paw. Of course he would, but who could possibly dig for us and, uh, and possibly gather up some of the, is there, is there stuff to dig? There's a, there's death. There's death nearby. Yeah, a lot of people are saying no. I don't think it's worth it to invite him in so that he can try to, because we would probably get off the island before he could recover five food for us in terms of moves. So we're just gonna know that Sharkbait has his son with him and that his son is nearby. And his son, what, what is his son's name? We can't change it, but I need to know what is his son's name? Like, let's see, we have, is, is it Minnowbait? We have Sharkbait and Minnowbait. Is that the way this works? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Um, so we're going to say shark and shark bait and his son Minnow will be staying on the island. Chum. Some people are saying his name should be Chum. I, I love it. I love it. Okay, never mind. Forget Minnow and Minnow bait. Chum is a beautiful name. A plus, that's Carrie from our Patreon Discord who came up with the, the name Chum. I think that works out beautifully. So we're going to go with Chum. Uh, if you don't want to call him Chum, then Minnow uh, is kind of like his other nickname. So Chum. We're not gonna invite him into the tribe because that would spend five food, but we're gonna say his dad Sharkbait is taking care of him and protecting him. Like, be quiet, son. There's danger lurking in the grasses, because there is. All right, we're going to see if we can keep having Sunray run for it. I don't think she's gonna make it with her sisters, you guys. So then we have the awkward question of if she should start collecting from a cactus for them or not. Uh, how many days left? Honey has six days left. We're gonna move Mesa over here. Oh my gosh, they're about making it. <gasps> There's a nest, you guys. There's a permanent nest. Okay, permanent nest, but baby won't be able to move for a few days. Should we have Honey jump into the permanent nest? I think we should take Honey to the new island and have her baby there. And I don't I don't think Sunray is going to be able to make it. I, I kind of think Sunray is going to go back and she's going to end up becoming like shark baits, shark baits mate. And we're gonna we're gonna close our eyes and pretend that Sharkbait and Chum and his new adoptive mother Sunray all will live happily ever after, plagued by condiments and predators and fire. <laughs> and oh, purple candy corn! If you want to send in fan art, that's to the mail uh, at Siri. Uh, so like mail m a i l a t s e r i at gmail.com, and it should be in the video description actually. Uh, there's a lot of information in my video description. The stream video description in the future will have some updates. Also, somebody's first uh, chum straight to the chum bucket. Tata -ta ruins everything. Tribe of burning lies. Brandy Titus, that's beautiful. I absolutely love it. Uh, you guys, I don't think that Sunray is going to be gonna gonna make it. Um, I, I think that we're gonna have to have her just stay here and we're gonna say that she helps out shark bait and we're just gonna get Honey and Mesa, the two sisters, off this island. Uh, so let me go ahead, run and run. And I think, I, I'll tr I don't think, Char Shaylee, I don't think we can actually make it with Sunray because that would use up some precious days and some precious food time. And I honestly don't think we'll be able to make it if we bring Sun Sunray with us because she would have to, yeah, she won't make it. If I'm counting with the number of days she has left, so four days left to live, she literally won't make it, even if we tried to make it with Sunray. So I am very sorry. Sunray, oh yeah, Gamer15, uh, 250. I'm just gonna call you Gamer15 if that's okay, if you have a, a whole bunch, a whole, whole bunch of numbers. I'm just gonna say like the first couple numbers. But if you have, um, if, what was I gonna say? It, it, there's no way she could she could actually make it. And Gamer15 said something that I was going to talk about. All right, anyway, let us go ahead. Sunray, Sunray has dawned. What a beautiful hero's name. Oh, you guys have such amazing hero's names for this. This is amazing. All right, we're going to go ahead and get these sisters out of here. They have suffered enough and hopefully they are carrying some of the genes that we need for this because this is ridiculous. All right, 24. All right, so there's 24. Let's see if I can get the sisters down. Give me just a second, guys. We're almost there. I'm so excited. I know the birds are chirping. They're excited. And then, oh, 
The sisters are on the portal. They're ready to go. They're ready to go, you guys. Honey has five days left to live. Her sister Mesa has six days left to live. They are both pregnant with the children of condiment rogues, rogue condiments. <laughs> That's... Oh my gosh. So they're yeah, both pregnant with like rogue condiments and we've got shark bait over here gathering up some food that we can give them to go and Sunray who I think even if it would hurt her she would go ahead and pick a few berries for her sisters. I won't make her pick the last berries because they can make it to the next island without it. Um, but you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and and leave Sunray with her final child. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Why did I do that? I, I got sentimental. Look what you guys made me do. I got sentimental. No, oh, why did I do that? Okay, Fooey, I messed up bad by using up the material we needed. That was my bad. I was thinking, oh, an emotional goodbye. We can see what her baby is as it's born and then we can get moving. I totally messed up. I am so sorry, so sorry. Also, it is day 25. I am so sorry that I used up the nesting material. I'm a little overwrought from how emotional everything has been. I apologize. We will, that may have doomed our tribe. Emotions. The first group of the legend seekers will have learned that you can't let your emotions rule you. All right, day 26. As a fire begins, we say goodbye to Sunray, who's going to destroy her nest for us, which definitely helped out a lot. Oh, we're okay. We're okay. We're okay. <laughs> We were able to gather up the nesting material again. That makes me happy. And we can say goodbye with little Vanunu, uh, who's like the mustard child. I don't even know what I'm going to name you. I just, I want to name him just for prosperity. Uh, prosper uh, prosperity. He is mustard's child. Um, hmm. Maybe may, oh, kitty soft paw. <laughs> Oh, Kitty! Kitty Slap, I'm so glad that you're enjoying the Warrior Cats Challenge. Oh, that makes me really happy. I have some secrets about that, but we'll talk about that later. I'm just gonna name this little one Slaw, like Coleslaw. So there's Slaw. It goes with his, his half-brother Chum's name, Chum and Slaw. They're gonna stay here, and we're gonna go ahead and have Shark Bait with the fire starting next to him, gather up a couple more berries. And you guys, you guys, you guys, are you ready? Cause we're out of here. <laughs> we we can't bring a male flying angel. There's no male to bring. <laughs> so we're we're gonna leave this. We're gonna leave this. So there we go. Um, let's see. Travel. Did we really escape that island of death, doom, and destruction and despair? Is this happening? <gasps> Look how beautiful and nice the land looks. Look at how gorgeous the land looks, you guys. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's tiny. Look at this tiny little island of hope. What should we name this place? What should we name this tiny little place? Also, thank you for letting me know it is now day 26. Day 26, I am so proud. Who was who was that Julia game? Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And yes, Honey the Fire Sprinter is definitely now the name. We have Shark Bite, uh, Shark Bait the Savior. And now we're gonna have Honey the Fire Sprinter. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead. She's earned that name. I We're gonna have to come, and somebody needs to like put together a list of all the heroes we've had for this tribe. I can't believe we made it. The Garden of Hope, beautiful, I love that. We're gonna name it, the Quarry Guardian says, the Garden of Hope, that is what I'm going to name it. Uh, Annette Wilson asks, how do I get into the Discord? It is a private Discord for patrons and sponsors, which I'll have to figure out how to set that up. I think I'll have to personally invite the sponsors, so they'd have to email me first with verification. But anyway, the Garden of Hope, you guys. We're gonna take just a moment to take a couple deep breaths. Get some water. If you guys haven't had any water, please have something to drink. Uh, Cause wow, that was intense. I don't know about you guys, but I need to cool off for a second. What do you guys think about the Garden of Hope? I think we'll let generation three 
<laughs> we're not even on generation three yet. Frolic on it for just a little bit. And then we need to move to the next island after that. Should we, whoops, we've got flowers, flowers, and jungle. Uh, so we'll decide where we're gonna move in the future. Is it just me or is this tree shorter than normal? That looks like a really short tree, huh? And I know my trees from the nest tree tribe. So the garden of hope, let me go ahead. It is a heart-shaped island, by the way. You guys have noticed that. Isn't that sweet? Look at that, guys. Look at that. Isn't It's a heart-shaped island edged with beautiful, beautiful, um, beautiful flowers. I really love it. Oh my gosh. And then let me go ahead. And then I need, I need a drink real quick. Let me focus. Whew. All right, beautiful heart island. All right, guys, this has been intense and we're not quite done yet. So let's go ahead and we're going to let the ladies have their babies. They have definitely earned the right. There's berry bushes. They can smell berry bushes for the first time in their lives. They're going to see a berry bush that's made out of actual leaves, not just a bunch of dry sticks with little tiny raisins stuck to them. I think they're gonna be very, very happy about this. Also, bye spring roll. I hope you have a wonderful day. I, I'm totally blown away. I can't believe we've made it this far. Um, so let me go ahead and we're going to have honey. They cannot put their nest onto the ports in case you guys are wondering why don't we just like have the baby amongst all these beautiful flowers right here. You can't actually put nests down in the ports or ports. Hmm. I'm thinking of slime rancher here, the ports. So let me come over. Mesa has five days left to live. Um, honey, I'm gonna have Honey jump up. Oh, and they've cooled off, you guys. There, and Honey has made a nest. Beautiful. And we've got all this food to eat. There's abundant food. We can clear away some of the grass to see Honey. And Honey the Fire Sprinter is about to go ahead and have her baby. Oh, and some of you guys are coming up with really good names for the baby. Uh, I do have the name Carrie from one of our super chatters. So if it's a girl, I'm gonna name it Carrie. If it's a boy, we'll name it something else. So let's go ahead and see. It's a little girl. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, and she already comes with a K name. So I think she knew she was supposed to be named little Carrie. You guys. Honey just had her baby. I hope we find a male. It just hit me. All this relief, all this sense of we're on a fantastic island. It is made up of flowers and it is in a heart shape. And I just realized we're missing, we're, we're really, really, really missing um, boys. <laughs> An island of all girls is not going to get us very far actually. <laughs> so I'm gonna have Honey step back and she, can do a little fishing or strength so she can destroy berry bush or like the berry bushes if we wanted um i'm gonna have her get out of the nest her she doesn't have enough strength to destroy these berry bushes though i guess you need four strength for that i'm gonna have misa jump over here is there a permanent I'm gonna have her kick the tree. We've got some nuts. So the girls are finding some beautiful berries and some fantastic nuts. And I think we're gonna go ahead and see if we can get uh, Mesa to have her baby and see if it's a boy and if the Legend Seekers tribe is clinging on to this possibility by the skin of their teeth. Oh, also, is it day 27? Ah, uh, thank you, Lily. Lily, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. Without you, I would have totally forgotten to update the day counter. 100% needed that. Um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and have Honey. She can't really gather anything, so we're gonna have her just gather some grass for, for now. And now we're gonna go ahead and go to day 28. It's so weird to just have a normal calm day go by and there's not the sound of creatures yelling in pain. There's not the sound of of all sorts of stuff coming up. And she does look a little bit like ketchup, doesn't she? All right, Um, right, let me see. Can I smell anything, scent anything? Oh, honey has, honey has caught the scent of some rabbits. So, I mean, she could look around for the rabbits. There's a lot of rocks in this heart-shaped island for some reason. Um, I'm gonna let Mesa 
Oh, actually, the baby can get out of the nest. Yes, and I don't need to dig up a new nest. Mesa can just jump over here. And we're going to let her go ahead and have her baby. There we go. All right, guys. <laughs> and now we're going to go ahead and have little Mesa have her baby. She has been pregnant since the moment she became an adult. This is going to be a rogue child. We're crossing our fingers and paws that this is going to be a male so that we can keep things going on. And then I think we might kind of get to the point where we'll... Oh, and does Mesa have her mutation set? Oh, cinnamon bun. Thank you. I should have set their mutations. There's been so much going on. I completely forgot to even think about that. Um, we can put in nimble fingers now, which is kind of amazing. So I think we're going to go ahead and put in nimble fingers to feed ourselves and then i know she's pregnant with mustard's child so let's also put in runner's leg because um mustard well mesa has good eyesight so even if her child carries recessive bad eyesight it should be okay so give me just a second we're gonna because i know she's pregnant with mustard's child and he had the deformed paw we're gonna put in runner's leg to try to make sure that that kid has the best chance possible to have both paws because uh, that'd be really important. All right, and we're going to go ahead and see Mesa's child. It's a boy! Yay! It's a boy! I'm so happy! <laughs> All right, guys. We have a little boy. <laughs> Let's look at his genetics. He has got derp snout and cracker jaw recessive. He has lean body recessive, runner's leg, and a deformed paw. He has high fertility, normal blood clotting, and C and K, which happen to be uh, K, at least one of the rare immunities. And his father is mustard, the condiment trouble causer. <laughs> so what should we name him? We left behind custard and a bunch of the others. Uh, let's see. Sandstone, I'm seeing the name Sandstone. Crumpet is kind of a girl's name, I think. Uh, Relish would kind of be a fun name because he's got green eyes. Barbecue, Barb, you know what? I think I think he needs to be named Barbecue. Uh, and we'll give him the whole name. And we'll name him Bar uh, for short, or Bark, Barb? <laughs> His nickname could be Barb if we really wanted. But I, I do think that Barbecue, AKA BBB, BBQ, is gonna be his name. Just to carry on the fact that what we got really out- Oh, and thank you so much, Song of Wolf, for day 29, reminding me the days are passing. What chaos. Oh my gosh. This has been quite an event. Uh, we're going to have little barbecue. We're going to have little barbecue, BBQ, for his nickname. He's really adorable. I think Mesa, who has carried him for like 30 days <laughs> pregnant, like maybe he was hiding in a pouch like kangaroos. So the whole time he was just inside her little pouch like a little kangaroo. <laughs> so thank you guys for reminding me. It is day 29 and a little barbecue has been born into a very peaceful world that I hope he will find joy in. Honey has only one day left to live. So I'm gonna let her spend it really happily. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna have her jump over and take out a bunny and honey gets to go ahead and eat a delicious bunny on her very last day of life while her daughter Carrie is going to stand over here greeting little barbecue and Mesa is going to go ahead and gather up a couple items and you guys we're going to go ahead and say goodbye to honey and then I think I'm going to take a break from the stream because I'm so worn out I don't know about you guys but I need like a nap after being attacked by condiments and I can't believe our tribe is still alive uh, and I'm kind of sad but I'm really excited for the next stream so let's go ahead and we have very very sadly said goodbye to honey so honey has just passed away you guys we need a new leader of the tribe I don't think Mesa is really one for it so should it be a little carry or a little barbecue I kind of think little barbecue <laughs> Um, I'm really sad and thank you guys. Yeah, it's day 30. I feel like it's a good a good time to kind of slow down for the evening because I'm I need a nap. <laughs> so barbecue. Yeah, everyone's saying barbecue should be the next leader. So let's get this set up. Uh, let's get this set up and we'll have Honey the Fire Sprinter, forever remembered as one of our heroes. It's day 30 and a little barbecue. Little does he know it. It is, it is his time to become the leader of the tribe. 
So poor little guy, I have no idea what he is going to do for himself, but he is carrying on everything, everything in the past. Oh my gosh. Phew, phew. All right. Oh, and thank you. <laughs> also, thank you, Elliot Hedgehog. We made it 30 days. I can't believe we made it 30 days. I really, really honestly can't because I didn't think we were going to. Um, let me check a few things really quickly before we wrap up, you guys. So we spent 24 days total in the savanna biome in order to unlock the lean body and make it a gene that we can use to try to get a creature that could have plus five heat resistance. We need to spend another 26 days in a savanna. So that, that was, and I'm sorry, Natalie. I, I, and I do have nimble fingers, which is fantastic. Um, it's in our mutation menu now. I just need a break. And thank you, Rosa Rios. It has been amazing. I, I cannot believe that we made it so far. Oh, it's been it's been ages. Oh my gosh. I, if you can't tell, I'm 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 worn out. This is this is done it. We've put our nichelings on a safe island. We have a loving mother. It's almost like we're starting all over with a very interesting Adam and Eve. <laughs> on the next the next stream we do and next stream we will actually have uh hopefully a whole bunch of custom emojis entirely thanks to the amazing sponsors who have stepped up to the plate like i said if you have uh if you're a sponsor or a patron and you have some nichelings you would like to be featured on our next niche live stream then send me some screenshots kind of close up like in the family tree or just like a good angle of them uh with no grass or anything blocking them and i can crop them out and they will rotate through i hope you've enjoyed seeing yuki and Cal Williams nichelings so often. You'll see some of my nichelings next time too. I just didn't have time to prep them. But you guys, I think we've done it. We're going to have to continue to try to work on that achievement ruler of the savannah. And we might even take a vote to see if we should change which achievement we try to work on next. It has been amazing. So, all right, guys. I'm I'm really good. This has been a very interesting evening. This has been an amazing day. Thank you so much to all of our fantastic mods who have really helped to make this possible. And thank you from the bottom of my heart to all of you fantastic patrons who are watching because it's you guys spending hours and hours and hours with me this morning that made it possible so that we could make this beautiful layout. Isn't it fantastic? It's got so many things going on. I'm so proud of all of you for being so amazing in chat. I'm so touched by those of you who super chatted and became sponsors. I literally didn't expect that. My cheeks are still on fire from blushing. And apparently there's already a ton of fan art to share with you guys next time that's been popping up in our Patreon Discord while I've been talking. It's amazing. But guys, this has been fantastic. I am going to wind everything down now and just say thank you once again. I'm really planning on doing this again next week and I'll definitely give you guys more warning next time. Uh, just I'll keep you up to date on my Twitter, especially uh, depending on how things go, but thank you guys so much. And please, 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 once the video goes live and this will be up on our YouTube library, please go ahead and let me know what was your favorite moments, who was your favorite hero, especially. I would love to come up with some way to be able to memorialize our heroes, but I definitely need a rest. So thank you guys so much. It's been amazing. And I will see you guys next time. Bye guys. <laughs>